Hello everyone and welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today is Friday, May 20th, and this is the MLB DFS video for today. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a very, very quick recap over the picks from two days ago since I did not make a video yesterday since there was only a three-game main slate. So a little bit harder to do the core plays and cheat sheet and stuff like that just because there's not as much to talk about and pretty much everybody's going to be telling you to play the same guys overall and it's pretty easy to figure out. And then from there, I'll go over my core plays for today. Obviously, it's a much bigger slate. I believe it's a 12-game main slate overall. And then going over my top GPP stacks for today's slate as well. But without further ado, we'll get into those core picks from two days ago. I'm going over them real quickly. So we had Kevin Gossman, $9,800, got the 18 points. He was a miss. Just kind of unfortunate day for him. He gave up a couple of runs and only pitched five innings. Then we had first baseman Jared Walsh, $3,100, got to 43.9 points. He was a hit in the top overall first baseman on the slate. Then we had Josh Donaldson, $3,200, 9.2 points. He was a hit. He's kind of middle of the pack in terms of third baseman on that day. And then we had Ian Happ, $3,300. Got to 21.7 points. He obviously had a home run and then I believe had another hit or a walk as well. I think it ended up being a walk. He was a hit. He was the second overall second baseman on the slate and the fifth overall outfielder. So if you played him, either position that you played him, he really, really paid off. Then we had Eli White as kind of that pay down option, $2,100. Got zero points, so he was a mess. Unfortunately, went over for on that day. But with that being said, that's a quick little recap of two days ago. We're going to get into some core picks for today. So first off, we're going to start off with the pitcher position of Martin Perez, $8,900. Had been pitching pretty well as of late, averaging 32 fantasy points per game on the season. He has decent history against this Astros hitters. He actually pitched pretty well against them when he faced them earlier this season as well. There's only like two hitters in this lineup that have hit him at all in the past. It's Yuri Uriel and Martin Maldonado, although neither one of them have home runs. He has five straight quality starts, so a relatively safe play as well. Then we're going to move down to first baseman slash second baseman Ty France. $3,400. Goes against the Boston Red Sox today, averaging about 11 fantasy points per game on the season. He's starting to heat up once again. He's 5 for 6 versus Michael Waka, who is starting tonight for the Red Sox, fresh off an IL stint. So Ty France, definitely someone I have a lot of interest in tonight. Then we move down to second baseman. Kiki Hernandez can also play in the outfield. Probably bat lead up once again for the Boston Red Sox. $2,800 averaging just under eight fantasy points per game on the season. And oddly enough, he is 10 for 46 with five home runs versus Robbie Ray, the starting pitcher for the Seattle Mariners today. Yes, the average isn't the highest, but half the hits that he does have against Robbie Ray have been home runs. So I'm chasing a little bit of the upside there with some of those home runs. Then we move down to third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. You could also play him at second base if you really want to, but we already have two other guys that can play second base in this lineup already. $3,000 averaging just under eight fantasy points per game on the season. Been a little bit hit or miss for him throughout the season. Started off kind of decent, had a cold spell, was kind of all right. It's just kind of been back and forth really for him. So we're chasing that upside day. And there's a pretty good chance that we get it today as he's 12 for 23 with one home run versus German Marquez in his career. Then last but not least, we have outfielder Cole Calhoun, $2,200. He's averaging just under seven fantasy points per game on the season. He is six for eight with two home runs versus Christian Javier, the starting pitcher for the Houston Astros today. Cole Calhoun also has four out of his last seven games with multi-hits, and he's had a hit in at least 11 of his last 13 games overall. So he's on a massive, massive hot streak, $2,200, way too cheap a price tag for him at this point in time. But with that being said, if you go with these five players that I do have listed here, you have $14,700 remaining, just under $3,700 per player. So I did give you some cheap options, some mid-range options here as well today. So you do have the ability to pay up for a couple other players at different positions if that's something you want to do. Or if you want to take a little bit more balanced approach, that's definitely fine as well. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to my top stacks from my article over at webetats.com. So the ones that I do have today are going to be the Boston Red Sox going against Robbie Ray. We think of Robbie Ray being this great pitcher that he was last year. He has not pitched that well this season. And these Red Sox hitters have hit him very well in the past. So don't have a problem playing pretty much any Red Sox hitter today. Uh, then we do have the New York Yankees. They have hit Dallas Keuchel pretty well in the past. However, it's just a week and a half ago that they faced Dallas Keuchel and he really shut him down for the most part over five innings. So there's a little bit of concern there, but more likely that it's going to bounce back to what we've seen in the past for Keuchel. 
Then we have the Philadelphia Phillies. They're going against Julio Urias, who we think of as being a pretty good pitcher, but he got lit up by this Phillies team the last time out. I believe he gave up six runs in that game. So there's a lot of upside there once again. And then last but not least, we have the Seattle Mariners. Already talked about Ty France, but a couple of these other guys do have pretty good history versus Michael Waka as well. And then obviously he's just coming off that IL stint that I did mention earlier. But with that being said, these are my core picks as well as top GPP stacks for today, May 20th. As always, if you have any questions related to MLB DFS, be sure to leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Also, with that being said, be sure to let me know your favorite play on today's slate. Maybe somebody from my core five, maybe somebody from my top GPP stacks, or maybe a completely different player you guys think I missed. Definitely interested in hearing what you have to say. But with that being said, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. Helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers, helping you with your DFS, whether it's MLB or USFL. Obviously, do the daily MLB DFS videos just like this. And then once a week, do the USFL video. We'll be working on that later today. And then once we get back around to NFL and NBA regular seasons, I will be covering those sports as well. And then with that being said, if you are a new or current subscriber yet to do so, also be sure to hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And then last but not least, special little shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Definitely means a lot to me and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.